Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Quant Price Prediction update. And in this video, I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Quant chart. And before I kickstart the video, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership. And at the time of this recording, Quant has managed to break above a key area of resistance. And in this video also, I want to give you reasons as to why I'm flipping short term bullish here on the Quant chart. And allow me to first kickstart the video by giving you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that count from the all time high has been see, had been seeing no prices in this massive ABC corrective structure which took us back to around the $40.1 mark and after seeing the bear market low we started a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that has been obeying the edge of structures where we can have that is the first wave to the upside then a wave 2 a wave 3 a wave 4 and then a wave 5 making its peak at around the $229 mark and also completing the formation of that higher edge of wave count 1 to the upside and whatever we expect next after seeing the formation of a higher ADU 12 count 1 is the formation of a higher ADU 12 count 2. And once we see the law for this higher ADU 12 count 2, then from there we can expect a higher ADU 12 count 3 to the upside. And that is what I'm expecting to play out on the long term scenario. And sketching out a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2, using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, that gives me a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of that with two between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.618 which is a target area that you have fully maximized and after losing the fib level 0 0.618 i had to extend my target area back to the fib level 0 0.78 and now my target area lies between the 135.3 dollar mark and the 82.1 dollar mark and that is the target area that i'm expecting to see the low for that higher edge to have count to the lower side and once the low is in then we can expect a, a five wave structure to the upside in the formation of this higher edu 12 count 3 and there are chances that we might have seen the low for that higher edu 12 count 2 at around the 94 dollar mark and whatever we are seeing right now might be the start of that higher edu 12 count 3 to the upside and giving you reasons as to why i want to flip short and bullish here on the quant chart that is as a result of a chart pattern that is in formation here on the four hour chart which is a double bottom and we can first connect the bottoms using these uh, triangle that i have right here that is this red target area down here and then drawing out the chart pattern we can have these as the first bottom to the lower side then we have seen that as the formation of the neckline then the, sec the, the second bottom then whatever we are seeing right now might be the start of that breakout to the upper side and you can also see that we have managed to break above a key area of resistance at around the 110.9 dollar mark and after the breakout was in we even saw a retest of that uh, uh, key area of resistance and continued pushing even higher and that means we have the support that we need for us to continue pushing even higher and see a breakout out of this chart pattern and getting a minimum target area to the upside for the breakout out of this chart pattern to the upside we can get the height between the neckline and the bottoms and once we get the height then we can place it above the neckline and that gives me a minimum target area back to around the 134.6 dollar mark and that's the reason as to why i'm saying i want to flip short and bullish here on the quant chart there are chances that we might see a breakout out of this chart pattern and fully maximize that target area at around the 134.6 dollar mark and that would be a very nice bounce to the upside and we also need to have in mind that there are chances that we might have seen the low for that higher edge of count too and that is after seeing these abc corrective structure having the wave c taking us back to around the 94 dollar mark and whatever we are seeing right here might be the start of that wave three to the upside and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave three using a trend based fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 400.9 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i would expect that higher additive country to the upside to do and also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 67 mark meaning we have a bit of room for us to support any movements to the upper side before we get into the overbought region also taking a look at the macd on the macd we have been able to print a bullish cross and that means higher prices are still coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated 